Thank you for viewing the Cell and Gene Therapy Catapult's annual GMP survey. This is an activity that we've been coordinating on behalf of the UK community since 2014. It's to provide a summary of the GMP manufacturing capacity and capability across the UK. The main takeaway is that the number of manufacturing organisations in the UK has increased. The number of facilities have remained stable, so we are seeing variations in perhaps the operating models for some of these facilities. They're housing multiple companies rather than just a more traditional one facility, one company. The UK is blessed in terms of it having good GMP spread right the way from early clinical trial centres right the way through to commercial orientated manufacturing facilities and organisations. What we have seen this year is that cell therapies are starting to perhaps come out of the shadow of a more gene therapy orientated manufacturing capacity that we've had in previous years. A facility has a very large amount of indirect operations that are behind it and what we're seeing through our surveys of, of recent years is the more and more reliance on contract services organisations, whether or not they're contract research organisations, which are typically doing testing of material, right the way through to service providers providing export and import of materials in and out of the UK. And that's really important because as we are increasing the clinical pipeline in the UK. We need more and more smart logistics providers because a lot of the material that we're actually making is being exported for use in clinical trials or indeed serving commercial markets. Top destinations being the US, but also into Europe. Our survey responders have also been giving us data on the staff that they employ. Again, the number of staff being employed has gone up this year and that feeds really nicely, I think, into the skills ecosystem that's been developed in the UK over the last three to four years where we have a really nice mix of physical training centres but also training capabilities relying on digital, virtual reality provision, augmented reality provision, so able to skill people quickly, but they're able to create an impact um, in a GMP environment um, as quickly as they can. A key driver behind the need for this uh, survey is to understand where future capacity needs are going and looking forward the pipeline looks really strong. There's a number of really exciting capabilities coming through. Having a really healthy pipeline which is growing year on year is absolutely essential to ensuring the UK cell and gene therapy sector and associated broader bioprocessing sectors can thrive and deliver international impact. I'd like to thank all of the companies who have provided data for this year's survey. We really do appreciate it and I hope you all enjoy reading the fuller report which can be found at the Cell and Gene Therapy Catapult website. 